What is up guys, Champs here and welcome back to the local to global series for it using in the 2003 database. We have an next show. I did a couple of shows here. Right here as you can see. Hang on for a second guys. Cause this is gonna be wild. Bam, look at this schedule. We have R E D RECW, the weekly show on Thursdays, and then Friday, week three of January will be Last Resort, meaning like the last resort of stuff. But that's basically the schedule I have planned for now with this one. So, yeah. Let's get on to going to our first show because we this first show is going to be a wild one and I think I'm going to use my creativity. How many how many female wrestlers we have? Line division, rookie division, divas division. Wait, can personalities rustle each time if they can then that'll be fine. I don't wanna do like an active wrestler thing. How many females do we have? Because I wanna do something funny. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea for that one, but let's go with the show. Alrighty, we have an email. Signing, just a couple of signings. Oh boy. Do I need storylines or do I not? We'll just deal with. The, it's our first ever show. We can do whatever we want. So let's let's go to the show, and we'll see where we go from here. Let's do it. All right. So we are back here. This is the card for this one. Let's run the show off because I want to see where we're gonna get this one right here. So, video A, yeah, with E, with their crowd. You know, it's from, it's held in QC Center Des Renlu. F, my god, F minus. Too much, oh my god. Tag team match, Rich B Dice. Did I put the intensity high? Oh my god, I should put it like a... Fun baby face, Kevin Steen, Davis is badass. And then we got the world champ- Carl Outlet is the world champion. He's shamed by submission. It's a six way match. And Angel Williams, her bitch piece, she's helping Kevin Steen. Come on. So, F plus. Did not have enough storylines? So, that because I d didn't do anything with storylines in the first place. I didn't do anything with storylines in the first place. But, now that. That's gonna happen. Uh, we could. I could see a translucinating of things. So I'm assuming we can do. I don't. Know. By the results of the first show, I can do something really cool with this one. And. It will be a great one, to say the least. And it's involved. It's gonna, I don't know, it's gonna, I'm gonna use the results from a current match. It'll make like a, a cool feud, so. That would be cool for whatever. 
but who knows? Who knows? It's gonna be a while. He's gonna be a great while here. And if you basically, if you want to be a booker here, if you want to be like a booker, a high tier booker for this one, you you gotta have. I have my notebook here, and that's filled with storylines and stuff like amazing storyline art and. I feel like it's going to help me with this one. If you want to become, I want to go from local to global. So, I need to make interesting storylines. How would I do this? Well, 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 um, could be. Red War Animal joins Kojima and Lynch, what, the tag team crown champions? Conan's storyline, Father J's misshoes, misshoes, Mitchell's gone, plus we held that one, has been, that it was not that bad given the company is small, but it's a small company, again, small company, we started local, then we'll try to go all the way up, I signed a couple people too, so, with that sort of thing, we don't have any clients, so, that's because Kevin Steen is going to be managed by oh, is Kevin Steen is going to be managed by da, 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 wait, by Angel Williams and it's fitting it's absolutely fitting hopefully it's fitting and as yeah, I know. Um, so Angel Williams, Kenny Omega has something on his mind. He, we know that he'll tend to actually be very really good. Let me check out his position, his recommended push. Upper mid card, fine, fine. But, you can tell that I'm going to create some storylines and this game's going to be a great time. So, since this one was so short, I'm going to do I'm going to do two shows. I'm going to do two shows for this one. So, let's get it going. Okay, so this is our match card. Uh, for the show, we got some new fellas. Let's take a look. And I don't press the chance Beckett. This was not a good one. Now go and say at least Jesus. Then we got Kamega versus Kevin Steen. Kevin Steen cheats to win. Trash in that was a bad idea. Oh, I suppose you to trash into Kenny Omega, god damn it. That's an F. However, Angel Williams and Kevin Steen attacked Kenny Omega. However, He's performing at Chef Fader, who's the staff member, and he's the authority figure. He decides that, okay, you know what? You are going, f we're going to book you a match. We're going to book you a match here. 1v1 is going to be Kevin Steen versus Kenny Omega versus Kevin Steen. We need to build this match up. Build this match to the last resort. Next up, we have a 6 minute tag team match. Yeah, the world title contender storyline was. Okay. I forgot to set down that intensity. God damn it. And of course, we got. Promo, promo stuff for ladies, and of course, we got Carl defeating his Smith by pinfall. But wait a minute, Disco Fury, he's at the arena. Oh my god, why is he here? And then he goes straight to the arena, causing the brawl to happen and he beats and he floors the champ 
E minus. Wow. Okay. We need an interesting storyline, but that was bad. We got 18. People will like it. Two weeks though. Two weeks on Thursday. I was hoping that we can do it, but just typically trying. I don't know, like the thing is, I need interesting storylines. Like, if I don't have interesting storylines, I can't do anything with this. I absolutely cannot do anything with this. Like, I just need good storylines, and this is not going to cut it. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do the best I can with this. I'm trying to do the best I can with this, and sometimes it's not working right. Sometimes it's not working with what I need. So, I'm going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to figure this out here. And yeah, let's see what's going on. Alright. That's why Tyson Dude is at the B, is at the BGW. You know what, I'm moving this, I'm moving it. Let me go to my schedule real quick. I'm going to my schedule and we are going to put... Oh gee, last resort is tonight. Let's do the pay-per-view too. Let's do the pay-per-view. Let's see what happens. I want to do the pay-per-view. So that we can do good. Again with this one. Jesus. So I'm gonna make the matches and we'll see what we'll go from there. Okay, this is this is card for the show. So welcome to the RECW Last Resort. Let's get it going. First off, we have El Generico being Seth Knight by Pinfall. So next, then we have and Abaddon being Quiet Storm Ray Brooks was mentored being by Pinfall, of course. And then PD, and also we have a contenders match. Andy Anderson says he has a surprise partner for Shane and Sin, and he chose PD Williams. PD Williams be Shane by a Canadian Destroyer. Then we have Ice versus Rage. Rage beats Ice. We need more heat than this guy. Eric Young lost to El Tornado with a frog splash. And yeah, that's going to be good. And then after that, Tess Dukes and A1, A1 beats Tess and Dukes with a royal flush. There's a hype between Kevin Steen and Kenny Omega, but uh, however, Kevin Steen beats Kenny Omega by the distraction from Angel Williams. However, they were being down. I was in danger. Runs down to fight them off, saving Kenny Omega. But the main event, Car Outlet beats Harry Smith, making a defense number one of the. RECW World Championship. He needs shorter matches? Okay. So, I think we. It's not even interesting. God damn it. After the show is speech, I don't give a fuck about speech. <laughs> we'll see how we do. So yeah, that's the show. We got three o'clock. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So far, not good. Let me show. Okay, let me show you the finishing. 
the finishing touches regarding the this thing that was gar okay I didn't know how they did it that, that was weird put it in then we have the underground results eh so junior heavy champion do I need a mid card title I think we need a mid card title I don't even have a mid card title yeah let's do that I think that's what's missing they were f they were actually fighting for trying to fight for a specific reason they were trying to fight for a specific reason but it wasn't shown for it. So, champion, junior, new duo. So, titles. Let's add a let's add another title. Let me show you what I'm working with here. Title belts. Uh, we're going to do the the All Canadian Championship. Oop, these. We got the All Canadian title. Women's title. We got the world title. Now let me look at the all Canadian title. Not main eventer. God damn it. No, it's gonna be floating. This is gonna be a floating title. Anyone can win this title. Anyone can win this title. There's no limits to this one. Well, it's, it's for male only. No limits to this one. This is an all Canadian title. Which is, it's not a US title. Quebeco title. Oh, no. Canadian world. Oh, damn. Okay. I'm, sw okay, I'm switching this up. We got the world championship belt. However, generic Canadian Championship. The Canadian World Title. That's good. That's a better one. Oh my god, okay. So that's your title belt situation. The next pay-per-view will be we are going to have a tournament, I think. I don't know. We'll see. But hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video, give thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. I'm going to post my videos. And yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye.